Okay guys, I wanted to do a video on my van setup. This is only my, the way I would suggest it. It's only my opinion. So if you have better way to do it, you know, do it your way. This is the best way that I know that works. So I have a full, this is a 170 wheelbase sprinter and I use the full capacity. If I have a load that's 180 inches long, I'm gonna fit 180 inches long inside of it. So here's what it looks like. Um, I'll start from the back, obviously. Doors, my doors are insulated. Everything else is not insulated. I took it out of the other one that I sold. So it's got foam in here. It's got that reflective in here. So it's all insulated and I have regular uh, pink insulation in there. You probably can't see it. Pink insulation inside the doors on the bottom here. So the back is all insulated. I'll get to the insulation part some other day if I ever decide to do it. <clears throat> Here's what it looks like on the right side. I've got chains, I've got my vest, my bag with my clothes in it. Uh, these boxes right there, These. Uh, this is a current load I'm on, so never mind these little boxes. That's what needs to be delivered in the morning. This box, I built that box. It's about nine inches wide, maybe 10, and maybe 50, around 50 inches long, pretty tall. So basically in there, I have everything. I have my straps, I have a hard hat, I have blankets in there when I need them. I got, uh, I mean, anything you can fit in there, it's a good box to have. It does not get in the way of anything. My wheel well is inside of it, but, it doesn't affect anything so I recommend building a box like that because you can put a lot of stuff inside of it and keep everything neat in there this stuff I got hanging yeah it's the stuff I use all the time pretty much so it's out I don't want to dick for it on this side my lifesavers are this four-wheel dolly hand truck I call it it's got four wheels so you can open it up and I do my uh, white glove slash lift gates service with this the ramp behind it is a wheelchair ramp it's a 10 foot ramp so it extends out and i can put stuff in get stuff out it's 10 feet long let's go inside i'm gonna close one of these doors so people don't think i'm a weirdo this is a passenger van so everything on here up top it's all, it was here, I didn't do anything to that. Usually when you buy a cargo van, it's gonna be bare. So you do your foam insulation on the outside and then you do uh, rivet it in or however you wanna do it. Basically, you wanna cover it and then maybe carpet it as well. So a thin sheet of plywood, very, very thin I'm talking about. And then on the sides, what you can do, this is thick plywood here. Uh, it came like this. I didn't have to do any of that. So if you decide you want to insulate it, which you really usually want to if you are going to be living on the road in the hot states in the winter time, eh, I wouldn't even bother insulating it for the winter time if that's that's your only reason because I still haven't insulated. I have windows here. So when I sleep, these are blackout curtains. I just kind of hung them there and I don't get any light in. So for now I have those curtains, but I'm gonna wrap the windows on the inside with black film and it'll look a lot better and I'll get rid of these curtains. Here's my bed setup. My bed, I can put two, two of these same exact size beds in here. I have it set up for that. Um, if I ever go with kids, we can do a family of five will sleep here. You see this? This is a two by four cut in half. And then it's screwed into the wall all the way to the front. These legs are the supports for that side, also screwed into the wall. Then I have regular door hinges right here. Get some light in here. Regular door hinges, I got three hinges. Actually, no, 
it's four hinges. You can see the screws sticking out on this side. Four door hinges holding this up when I need to go up and down on it. And so this is a full size bed, 54 wide, 75 long. I mean, I sleep like a king here, guys. And I can still take every single load that this van can handle. Full 180 long cargo space. I put E-Track on the floor, very important. Pallets slide really well on them. And then you use E-Track straps. Works great. This is my toolbox. It's got basic needs in there. It's got sockets and you know anything else I think you might need. Got to have that. You never know what's going to happen. This is my Chinese Webasto wannabe heater. I did this myself. I cut this out. I installed it. I've done three of them already myself. Three heaters like this. It blows super hot air. It's 5,000 kilowatts. eBay sells them for, you're not going to believe what price, under $100. That's it. With all the hardware you will need to install it. Install super easy. Uh, maybe if somebody sends me one and brings a van, then I can install it for, for somebody for free and, you know, do a video for you guys to show you how to install it. Super easy. Takes maybe two hours tops and I'm talking about top stops to install it it installs underneath uh, sprinter vans come with a line already inside the gas tank the fuel tank it takes diesel so this works off of diesel sucks it right from the main tank works great I wouldn't you know this is the best heater you could ever buy and a hundred dollars guys that's all it is hundred bucks The remote deal for it is right there. Not remote, but the control panel for the heat. You know, you twist left, it blows less. Twist right, it blows more. And once again, like I said, it's 5,000 kilowatts, guys. I keep it on the four bars. I think the most it's got is maybe 10 or 12 in there. I don't need any insulation. It gets hot in this van as is with this thing. I can control the temperature really well. So, all the way through, without any insulation in the walls, except for the back doors, it works awesome. I got my black curtains here. What they hang on is a shower curtain bar. And these are blackout curtains. Nothing, no sun, no light comes through that. When I drive, I close them. When I sleep, I close them. That's how it works. Now nah, the front, I'm not going to show you the front. I got a million wires. There's really nothing to see in the front. So this is my setup. The way I get the bed down, you won't believe how quick it is to get the bed down. It's up. Watch this. And then this is one-handed, guys. So that's it. Bed is down, and it goes up. Same exact way and super fast what i use for a mattress is a gel memory foam i think it's like two and a half inches maybe maybe three maybe three inches thick they sell them at costco i mean you can buy gel memory foam wherever you want buy a full size or buy a queen size whatever you want to buy and this just lays down on this plywood all it is is plywood right here i got legs underneath there the stand up on the floor also on hinges super easy look at that that's it so if I'm asleep and all of a sudden I need to get loaded or unloaded I lift this up I grab my strap and I am holding my phone so it is taking 10 times longer I have made a hook over here to hang the strap and then I just push in and that's it 
When you use two hands, it's only 10 seconds maximum. That's it. This does not interfere with any load processing. It does not get in the way with how, what you can fit in here because you can scoot the front a little bit to the right and you still have your 53 wide between wheel wells. So guys, that's the setup I use inside the van. You can have a big bed, you can have a little bed. It's up to you what you wanna do. And I do fit two of those beds in here. So if I go somewhere with the family, I take a load and I wanna, you know, have room for them to sleep and I want to tag them along, I can easily do that. And we fit five people in here. Two of those same exact beds, they go up the same exact way. So that's it, guys. That's my setup. That's why it pays off to have the biggest van that you can buy. This is a Sprinter, once again, 170 wheelbase. And you can get, it's pretty long, you can see. It's pretty long. And you guys can get yourself a 170 extended that will be 192 inches of cargo space inside. Even bigger if you want. This is a 180. So guys, thank you for watching. Happy expediting. Hope you guys make a lot of money. Hopefully the market goes back up and we'll be good to go. So for the bed, half inch plywood. Then I made reinforcements right there, cut them out, screwed them in, reinforced bar right there for this edge. That way I can you know, have really nice long screws. And the legs as well, I think they're like 20, six inches long somewhere around there I'm not sure exactly I don't remember anymore and I got them on hinges right here here's the hinges super easy setup super easy to make yourself at home so guys give me some likes subscribe I'll make more videos to make your life easier to make your decisions easier and what you want to do and how you want to do it and God bless. See you guys around on the next load.